Hi everyone, it's Salma here with BGCWCL today, and in this episode, we're going to talk about COVID-19 fact versus fiction. Let's get started. So first off, let's answer some basic questions about COVID-19. What even is COVID-19? Well, COVID-19 stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019, and it's a virus that was spread from some animals like bats, camels, and cattle to humans. How does coronavirus even spread? Well, you can catch coronavirus by coming into close contact with someone who already has coronavirus and by breathing tiny droplets in the air that carry the virus. For you to get infected, the virus has to actually enter your body. The most common ways it can do this is through your eyes, nose, and mouth. Okay, now that we know how coronavirus spreads, let's get into some fact versus fiction. First, cold weather kills coronavirus. This is false. Our bodies maintain a temperature of 98 degrees no matter the weather outside. So even if there's a big blizzard, people can still get coronavirus. Next up, spraying your body with alcohol or chlorine can cure coronavirus. Mm -mm. If the virus has already entered someone's body, then only your body's immune system can actually kill the virus. Spraying alcohol or chlorine on your body can actually be dangerous and harmful to your skin. Next, washing your hands for 20 seconds helps stop the spread of coronavirus. Yup, that's right. Washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds is the most important thing you can do to help keep you and your family safe from getting coronavirus. All right, here we go. If you hold your breath for 10 seconds without coughing, you don't have coronavirus. Mm. Wrong. This is not a way to test for coronavirus. In the early stages of sickness, lots of people are asymptomatic. Asymptomatic means that someone doesn't look or feel sick, even though they actually have the virus. And not everyone who has coronavirus experiences the same symptoms. So the only way to test for coronavirus is for a doctor to take a sample from the sick person and analyze it. Right now, there's a new coronavirus test that takes only 45 minutes to tell if a sick person has coronavirus. Crazy, right? All right. Staying six feet apart from other people in public is a great way to help prevent the spread of coronavirus. Yup, staying away from other people who may be sick is a great way to slow down the spread of coronavirus. All right, next one. In the summer, coronavirus is gonna spread by mosquito bites. Nope, coronavirus is spread through tiny droplets in the air and not through blood. So those pesky mosquitoes won't actually be able to spread the coronavirus. Next one, coronavirus affects only older people. This is false. Coronavirus affects people of all ages. Everyone is at risk. If we all do our part to wash our hands and stay away from everyone else, we can help decrease the risk for everybody. All right, next one. I have the flu vaccine. I don't need to worry about coronavirus, right? Nope. The virus that causes coronavirus is completely different than the influenza or the flu virus. There's currently no vaccine that has been approved for coronavirus, but don't worry, there are a lot of people working to get one ready. All right, what about this one? Coronavirus is a man-made virus and was created in a lab. Nope, different coronaviruses have existed for a long, long time. A virus's genetic material can change so much and so fast that when a new form comes out, it is completely different than the old one. Okay, next one. Sneezing in your elbow or a tissue and using hand sanitizer or washing your hands is a good way to stop the spread of coronavirus. That's right, viruses are carried in tiny droplets and when you sneeze, they fly everywhere. Make sure to cover your cough or sneeze and don't give those viruses a chance. All right, last one. Flattening the curve is the best plan for getting through coronavirus. Yup. Flattening the curve basically means that we have less cases over a long period of time, instead of having a lot of cases over a short period of time. When we flatten the curve, we don't have as many people sick at once, which means that doctors and nurses are still available to help care for sick people. We can all do our part to flatten the curve by washing our hands for 20 seconds, not touching our face as much as we can, and staying away from large groups of people. We're all gonna get through this together, and don't worry, we'll be back at BGCWCL before you know it.
Thanks for listening.